up? It's your girl, Lady KD, and this may be my final blog, so I'm not going to even say what number it is because you may never see and I may never do another blog ever again. reason I say that is because today is supposedly the day the end of the world takes place, also known as the rapture. Um, there was prediction made. Um, I don't know exactly when, but it was reported sometime this week on the news about um, a guy stating claims that the world should be ending today, um, which is May 21st at 6 p.m. However, what I don't understand is, is that Eastern Standard Time or is it just 6 p.m. wherever? I don't get it. Um, that's what kind of makes me a little bit uh, wonder why it even made the news with such uh, seriousness. They actually put up a clock, uh, a countdown clock, like it's freaking New Year's Eve. Um, and I don't know, a lot of people are going to do one thing that I'm going to ask you right now not to do. Do not, because, it, okay, I'm just about to put my hater game on in full effect. If, in fact, it's the end of the world today at 6 p.m., then this this whole thing that I'm saying is not going to matter. But if by any chance, hold on, let me get the bang out of the way. Okay. If by any chance today is not the end of the world, that means every channel that will be airing any propaganda surrounding this um, prophetic um, prediction will be getting hella ratings. And I feel like let's go out on hater mode. I mean, we lived our life on hater mode, so let's not watch it. Let's not be glued to the TV and let's not watch the countdown like it's New Year's Eve and let's not let them get um, ratings and fat paychecks and bonuses and stuff in this state of economy that we will probably be faced with tomorrow while we sit here and work every day hard to pay bills and make ends meet. Let's do that. Let's spend our life like we always should anyway, having a good time, enjoying the weather, spending time with friends and family, or going to work, um, taking care of your responsibilities, whatever it is that you would normally do. Let's do that instead of you know, feeding into the hype, you know, don't believe the hype, <sighs> okay, that was super stupid, but anyway, um, so let's do that, do that for me as a favor, don't watch the news today, no channels, because I mean, think about it, if today is going to be the end of the world, I don't think God is going to need it to be televised, I think he's going to tear the roof off your house so you can get front row seats to what's going on, you're going to see the skies you know, filled with fire and water at the same time, and you're going to see whatever, you know, catastrophic events are going to take place, you're going to see it, and the news probably won't even be on at that point. So, you know, just for the sake of hating, don't watch the news today, okay? All right, good. Hey, mode on. Um, anyway, uh, another thing, don't do anything stupid today. <laughs>
My whole thing is this. I got mood swings just like everybody else. Sometimes I am in a good mood and sometimes I'm not. And I think we all experience that. It's just a part of being human. But the the point I'm trying to make is this. I've tried to be real and I've tried to show that despite the fact that I may cuss and drink and hang out and get mad and do anything else that, you know, isn't considered right, that doesn't make me ashamed to claim my God and praise him on a regular basis. I'm going to continue to say thank God. I'm going to continue to ask God to bless the whole entire world. I'm going to continue to speak positive messages to people every time I get a chance to. I'm going to continue to try and bring people together and instead of creating divides. I'm going to try to continue to suggest things that will help bring us up and uplift us as a people opposed to tearing us down. I'm going to continue being me at least until the end of the world, which is at 6 p.m. And I don't know if that's Eastern Standard Time or if, you know, it's based on where it's 6 p.m. everywhere. But at any rate, I'm going to be me. And if you ask me my opinion about something, I'm going to give it to you straight. And I hope that you do the same. I can't stand fake people. And I hope them the first ones to get burned the hell up because I cannot stand fake-ass people. I want people to keep it real with me. I mean, of course, if I be like, do I look fat? Just be like, no, girl, you you straight, lie to me. So um, I guess that's about it. I wanted to just, you know, kind of let you know um, straight up, my lips to your eyes and ears, that I'm just human. And, you know, chances are, and you look, I didn't perm my hair. So that shows you right there that either way, I'm keeping it real. If we going out today at 6 p.m., I'm not going to perm my hair. That's too much work to be doing for water, fire, or ice storms, whatever the heck is going to happen, wind. Um, I, I'm not going to perm my hair to be having it all whipped off my scalp or whatever. And then if I say, for instance, go to hell, I'm going to sweat it out anyway. And if I go to heaven, then it's a beauty shop up there and it's going to be whipped. So I'm not doing my hair today, period. Um, other than that, I'm going to live my life like I've been living it to the fullest. And I'm going to just ask God, as I always do, to please have mercy on me and our souls. Forgive us for all of our sins. And I'm going to tell you to please do the same and remember to smile often. Deuces!